The AC-130 gunship is a heavily armed, long-endurance, ground-attack variant fixed-wing aircraft. And right now, we're about to see just how lethal the AC-130 Ghost Rider truly is. How Air Force pilots fly the $165 million Ghost Rider, the ultimate battle plane. I don't know how planes go through boot camp. I mean, I thought they're just built, but that's fine. It's fine, I guess, because you're wrong. Okay. <laughs> Dude, that's gotta feel so pounds cool. Pounds around itself, so it, it's pretty big. It's pretty big, huh? So you'll feel the kick definitely. When you feel it from the seats, pilots up, up front feel it. Everyone oh feels no! It. Right off the bat, the mustache gotta go. What if I had a mustache like that, Mr. Editor? Um, please help me really quick. I mean, I'll try. Ugh! I cannot do that. That's why I just always kind of stick with the shadow. I just like a shadow. I could never do this. And everybody who does the mustache like this except cody brandon and grantham f you okay undo that sh this is the 105 millimeter cannon oh, on the ac 130j oh it's a prop plane nope not Make doing way. it it looks like a dolphin let me know down below in the comments what kind of animal this looks like me i'm like dolphin and f a prop plane bro i know this thing's a beast but no thanks the 30 millimeter cannon's like golden i love Go! Can you let this target develop for a second? Let's get eyes on them, and if they start moving this direction, please let me know which BP is going to be the closest. Dude, this guy's like, please, oh God, sir, please let me shoot them with my big gun. How do you not shoot the giant cannon and the plane's just like, burr, burr. Its engines are roughly 25% more efficient, which means we've got roughly 25% more time. giant plane. I hope it's efficient. I hope it flies good. J model became fully operational in 2017 to aid in close air support for ground troops. Oh! Dude, look at the guy. He's like, hey, that guy right there. Can we shoot that guy? They're all borderline psychopaths. Starting with the 30 mm. millimeter gun. So it's going to be made up of a barrel and then within it, it's going to have your flexible chutes that feeds the ammo into it. Ammo air upon Force ammo upon ammo. said that because of its accuracy, the 30 millimeter gun is almost like a sniper rifle. It's God sniper so rifle. I want to know how fast they run out of ammo. Our personnel at the mission operator pilot are going to select the gun, oh, slave to so that position, hot, dude. and then you just fire it with a trigger based off the hands on throttle and stick. How do you combat that? I've only had gunship on station one time deployed, once ever. And it's like, okay, you're not surviving. Let me know down below in the comments what you think you could do to survive if you're like trying to get away from this. Thing, bro you'll see a bunch of like thermal videos mr editor go ahead and play some it'll be like nighttime and they think we don't have night vision on our million dollars of aircraft trying to crawl away like oh they're not Direct. gonna see us i'm just gonna <laughs> it's the ultimate streaming setup dude he got one two three four five six seven monitors god that's nothing compared to mine i got one two three four bro i need to do it like this my guy god this is where we control Hot. all of the munitions, a lot of the radios, we're talking to the guys on the ground, and then both the guns. Bro, they get, get to be so lazy. I thought you had to like I manually load all this all the time. Are you used to it? These two sensors are a key element in how the ac J crew collects accurate intelligence and oh my confirms God. the location. Imagine being like, hey, I work there, what the fuck? Due to the sensor's classified design, our cameras were not permitted to film them when the lenses were exposed. That's a no-no, babe. Heads up display. Oh. Um, just extra SA for, for the those of you who don't know what that thing does, tool. there's actually a display on there. Think of it like literally a uh, iPad that you can clearly see through, but there's like numbers, grid coordinates, and it'll show you and read you a bunch of information and data, but it still allows you to see through the tablet so you can fly the plane still. In addition to the heads up display, uh, uh, you have the side heads up display for the pilot. Has, oh, they getting it all the technologies and shit. Pilots fly in circles when observing and firing on targets. It's gonna help with mm. the employing the munitions and it gives them you know how fat a ticket we gonna get if you get caught texting and driving he's flying a ac-130 in the sky with rockets bullets grenades he one hand flying this and look at the thingy he can do whatever the he want man he just got it like that i guess there are several amenities on board to provide comfort on these longer flights pretty cool feature is got we have a microwave in addition to a, a coffee maker as well so kind of whoa nice on the long only the, the, on the air force would have that <laughs> yeah boy we saw the first model did not have a coffee machine it was the first thing we asked the entire government to do we're like we are not flying this plane unless it has a built-in coffee maker and since we can't bring our personal chefs from our five star hotels we need a microwave please please have you guys liked the videos yet? Please like the video. I know you ain't subscribed. Please subscribe. If you're already subscribed, make sure you guys hit the notification bell. So we do have uh, a toilet 
on the aircraft. Um, he the drops the ramp. He's like, you guys want to see the toilet? The plane's flying away. He's like, this is how I shit. Um, for the longer flights, it's super nice to have. I bet. There's poop in front of all the homies. Have someone hold my hand because I hate flying. You poop in front of me, bro. I'm going to give you kissy faces the that whole time. I'm going to be like. According to the 2022 National Defense Strategy released by the Department of Defense. Oh, God. How do we f*** this up? A key up? priority moving forward is integrated deterrence. What does that mean? systems and technologies that make adversaries think twice about engaging in conflict you can f hear it in the air what other deterrent do we need maybe that's what we need the toilets for we're like start on them because then if they keep shooting us while we're shitting on them we're gonna f them up with guns that's why the j models precision weaponry and oh sensors God. make it a crucial military asset what why and why so we made it less cool pilots are now trained on knowing when to engage in conflict there's a lot of training that's what are we supposed to already know when not to engage hey that's a school ah uh, just Blow it up. What? Leading the mission today is Major Riley Feeney, an evaluator pilot. Seems to be just fine for takeoff. However, we may be getting gusting winds at like 270. Uh, okay. To 30, possibly 35 knots per the meth. Per the meth? He said per the meth or math? It's Air Force, so I'm hoping it's math, but I'm gonna run that bag one more time. 30, possibly 35 knots per the meth. Okay, there's a f in there. There's no f it's a, a meth. The meth, bruh. You just see dudes flying the plane. He's got one hand on, he's like. They're like, that's why we need more deterrence. Everyone's addicted to meth. But we'll then move to a simulated kill or capture mission scenario oh, that will take lessons learned yeah. and force the crew to be more precise and cautious. I'd be like, sir, Hi, can we, we just uh, get up, please? They're like, get Nico We're out of here right now. It's, it's a kill capture mission. It's a, been a guy. He's a. How the f plane in the sky gonna capture him? You gonna land the plane? Grab him, throw him on the plane? No, you're not. It's a. So we're going on a kill kill mission. I'll be like, this is the one I like. I like this one. We'll be working in building one zero, particularly he's hidden up. Why the, the shed is that right your picture? Back. Oh, that's the, the guy. Cool. So they're gonna do all this live training in the civilian world. You do all real world training. You guys are gonna be like, wait, they put in real cash. cannons on my face in the day the for threat. training? It's like, Relay yes, yo. Oh my God, that shit. We're like, we're taking off the plane. It's like this in the front. I'll be like, get me out of this. Once in the air, the crew starts the training scenarios. They immediately hold hands. Land. Show us the training. Uh, Show us the training. Oh, plane. It was an excellent training iteration today because it was turbulent winds with gusty winds. The wind was too hard, so we had to take it down. But like when we deploy, we're going to be getting shot at, so it's fine. Once the pilots finish practicing landing at Roswell, the training cool. shifts to the back of the plane. They're like, let's fuck some shit up. They're like, yeah. The mess kicking in. We gotta use the cannons. However, what we did is a dry fire scenario. No! That means they're not using real bullets. <laughs> ground for the location of their fictional insurgent. Can you imagine one day out and about in your neighborhood? You're looking up, you're like, man, that's a cool gunship. I wonder if they can see me. You watch this video, they're looking at your face with a giant cannon. You're like, what the fuck? What the fuck? is wrong with you i have contact currently about eight packs they are unloading weapons from two trailers uh located 300 meters north of their position we see you me get eyes on them and if they start moving this direction please let me know make sure you guys pretend to fire the round oh my god we fired a real one sorry, sorry not sorry accident so the rules of engagement are <laughs> i wonder what that is what the explicit verbiage in them is is relatively classified did he just say the actual definition is classified because it's really not roe stands for rules of engagement the idea is you have to meet certain criteria in order to oh engage. okay so he's talking about the actual roe rules of engagement for them to fire back roe used to be really nice it was hey is that a person yeah f them up then it turned into the stupid sh hey you're getting shot at okay the new roe is you can't shoot back you have to tell them to stop first please stop shooting at us or we're gonna shoot you back. They're not listening. Okay, now you can fire back. So dumb. It's basically wait till you get shot to shoot back. They got the snacks here too, bro. So jealous. Five, four. Whoa, whoa! Why did the camera shake like that? Did they shoot something? Five, Mike, Mike. Five, what the? F two, oh, we're breaking up. <laughs> the mission was a success. That Prius we shot is totally scenario, f boys. Good job. Place. We were very expeditious, and we were about 20 meters from danger close on the engagement for that Romeo 9 Echo. We didn't do anything wrong. It was contact. Everything was within the okay. limits. We were out at like 230 meters away. Okay. But it's one of those ones too, like just as a technique, and this is my instructional fix for the crew, is anytime that you're within 25 meters 
Okay. Of a danger close engagement, you probably should be talking to the to the JTAC. Okay. All right. That that's facts. You don't want them to die. Basically, they're saying that as like there's got to be people on the ground communicating, and they're saying that like within danger close, there's friendlies. 25 meters out, you're like, hey, the round's coming in. Are you ready? And it's like, send that shit. Boom! And so it's just that communication so everybody can take cover. But that's hot. <laughs>